Hey guys, it's Stacy with Chapter Chicks, and I'm here again to review another arc that I'm behind on. This one, when did it come out? This one is Mermaid by Carolyn Trudgeon. This came out in March. Um, as you guys know, I'm really into the retellings right now. I'm in love with retellings, and I think that's why I really, I was like really drawn to this book because of that reason, because it is the retelling of Little Mermaid. Here is the finished cover, if you are interested. Um to get right into it. So I love The Little Mermaid as a little girl so in terms of mermaid knowledge The Little Mermaid Disney movie is the only mermaid knowledge I had going into this book. I did read another mermaid book, Forgive My Fins, but one that was based on The Little Mermaid version was one I was looking for and this one is the closest one. It's a retelling of another book. I don't know which it is right now. And I think that the movie was based on that. The book is told in every other chapter format. There is two main character, female characters in this. The princess, who is named Margothy, and then the mermaid, who is named Linnea. Margothy is the princess of the north. Her father, the king, is very terrified of south invaders and that a war is going to come upon, come upon with the south. So he decides to protect her and being very paranoid and everything to hide her in a convent. Um, while she's at this convent, she is walking along, she's standing outside, staring at the sea, and she sees a mermaid bring a man to shore. She goes down, she helps the man, she brings him in, and they help her. So that's basically her story. I'm not going to go into more, even though I really want to. I'm not going to go in more to that because I don't want to spoil. Leanna, the mermaid. Mermaids are only allowed to, uh... Go to the surface on their 18th birthday. They're not allowed to have any human contact, even though some of them believe that they should. She is very obsessed with the human world. She's been looking forward to this her whole life. So when she goes to the surface on her 18th birthday, she sees a ship as going down. And that there are men all around her drowning, which is a very horrible thing for the mermaids simply because when the mermaids die in this world they become sea foam and they live a lot longer but when a human dies we have souls that go to heaven it's a lot more painful process than when a mermaid dies so she's a little she's a little terrified about all this so she goes and she decides to save one man and she brings him to shore which is where uh, Margothy first sees her and she brings the man to shore so I'm not going to say any more on the mermaid part either. So what about this book really intrigued me, like really, like the digging down into the book, what I really liked was the whole good versus evil thing that's going on. The princess, Margothy, she is a very good girl. She does what she's supposed to do. She knows a lot is riding on her and her being the princess, so she always tries to be good. Leanna, who is the mermaid, she, um... She's a, she is also a princess, but she is a little bit more bad. She does what she's not supposed to do, and she always gets in trouble, and she all, kind of just thinks about herself and what's best for her. Um, so it's kind of like this battle between these two women on who they're going to, who's going to win this man's love. The man's name is Christopher. What I also really loved about this book was... Um, the rawness of the mermaids. Mermaids are usually painted in a very you know, beautiful, shimmering goddess light, and in this world, the, you see the rawness to the mermaids. You see that, you know, there's a bad side to them. They have, you know, it's sharp teeth so they can gnaw on fish, and there's, there's, you see the little bit of the dark side in the mermaids in this, and I really enjoy that because, and this kind of ties in with my dislikes on the books because I really kind of dislike mermaid books. I don't know, like I really sat down and thought what it was about mermaids that I just don't like and I think I figured it out. Um, for one, mermaid stories are usually very cookie cutter. It's always, first of all, the mermaid is always a woman. There's never a male female, or there's never a male mermaid swimming around or a story about a girl who finds a, a merman in the water. It's always a man that finds a mermaid in the water and she's always a princess and she's always wanting to come onto land and see what the human world is about and she always falls in love with the man. It's a very cookie cutter world. And me as a reader, I've also kind of found this out about myself while reading this book. I kind of like my supernatural element in my books to come from the male character. I don't know why. I really don't like when the supernatural element comes from the female character. I don't know why. 
it's not like I hate a book that has a supernatural girl on it, but the supernatural element, I really, I just prefer it to come from the male character. I'm just weird that way. So that's also kind of like a little dislike in the book for me. There is another big dislike I have with this story, but I'm not really going to talk about it right now. Or in this part of the video, just simply because I want to save it for the spoiler part, because I think it gives too much away about the character development on this particular character that I'm going to talk about. I know it doesn't sound like I like this book too much, but I actually really did. I really like the retellings. I really like the two main characters with the other every other chapter. That is something that is like a really big plus in my book when it comes to book. I love any books that have the back and forth chapters. I am going to talk about the ending of the book, just my feelings on it. I'm not going to say anything that has to do with the ending or what happens plot-wise, character-wise, but I am going to say my feelings on it. Um, this author is amazing. The ending was so good. Like, I was reading this ending, and I'm like, there's no possible way as me as a reader is going to like this ending. I'm like, this ending is going to be horrible. There's no way that this book can come full circle with something that I would like as an ending, and it did. And I thought that was, like, a big point up to the author on this. I uh, Her writing style wasn't really, like, jumping out to me until the end, and I'm like, oh my god, she is brilliant. Overall, the... Characters were decent. They weren't, like, amazing, and I didn't really like Christopher, but I liked the two female characters. Uh, the writing was okay until the end, and then and then it got good, but the concept, the concept of mermaids, I just think is, somebody needs to come with a new, fresh mermaid story. I know this is a retelling, but, and I know it's supposed to be, like, like just, like, another story just told over, duh, but it's just, like, Mermaids, to me, have become very cliche, and I think that it really needs to be shaken up a little bit to f explore all the other aspects of the mermaid world that could be explored but are never explored because it's always the same type of story. So I really liked the book. It was a decent book. It did get a decent rating, and um, just because there was a lot of likes and there was a few major dislikes, but it was still st would still be a book that I checked out, especially if mermaids are your thing. Me, personally, I'm a vampire girl. I love my vampires. If you're really into mermaids, you will like this book a lot. You will probably think this book is amazing. But I really did like the fresh... She did kind of freshen up the mermaid world a little bit. Just a little bit. And I would like it to be shaken up a lot. So now for the spoiler part of the video. Um, so if you have not read the book, do not watch this part. Yeah, so I... My big dislike about this book, besides not really being into mermaids, was the character Christopher. I just thought that he was not worthy of these two female characters. I mean, they are giving up a lot for this man. They are fighting to the death for him, and he is just... N you, as a reader, don't really know anything about him. They do not know anything about him. It's just like, this man is not special. This man is not special at all. It's like, ladies, move on. There's nothing cool about him. He's just a regular guy that's n you're just throwing away way too much for him. Uh, so I wish that Christopher had a little bit more development to him so we could kind of see why, what was so special about him. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below if you have read it. Stacey with Chapter Chicks, I hope you enjoyed the review because it took me several times to film it just because I kept spoiling so bad in the beginning of this video because there was a lot of cool aspects to the book. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the review and this is Stacy with Chapter Chicks. I already said that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>